Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is day 2 of our topic atomic structure and today we will discuss about radioactivity. This is a fascinating topic that explains how some atom can go unstable and release energy in surprising way. We will focus on the three main types of radioactive emissions alpha, beta and gamma particles or rays. We will also talk about how scientists detect them, don't worry. I will keep it simple with everyday analogies and no heavy mathematics. Let's dive in. What is radioactivity? Imagine atom is tiny solar system, a nucleus the sun made of a protons and neutrons with electrons orbiting around. Most atoms are stable like a well balanced solar system. But some nuclei are unstable. They are like overloaded suitcase that want to unpack to become more stable. When this happens, the nucleus release energy and particles. This process is called radioactive decay and it's a radioactivity. It's a natural process. It happens in rocks, bananas, yes, and even our bodies. The three main unpackers are alpha, beta, and gamma emissions. They differ in what they are, how far they travel and how dangerous they can be. There are three main types of radiations. Number one, alpha, helium nuclei, two protons, two neutrons, heavy and positively charged. Weak penetration is stopped by paper or skin. Number two, beta, fast moving electrons, negatively charged, more penetrating than alpha, is stopped by aluminum sheet. Number three, gamma. Electromagnetic waves, no mass, no charge, highly penetrating, reduced by thick lead or concrete. I am showing here in the diagram. Check out. Detecting radioactivity. How do we see the invisible? Radioactive stuff does not glow like in movies. Sorry, no green nose. We need clever detectors to count the emissions. Here is how it works from simple to sci-fi. Number one. Gege Muller tube and count number two cloud chamber by Wilson and number three photographic film. Now, what are the uses of radiations? In medical field, cancer, cancer treatment with gamma rays, industries checking leaks in pipes, in agriculture, food preservation. And what are the dangers of radiations? Can cause cell mutation, cancer, radiation sickness. That's why we must use shielding, safe storage and proper disposal. So today we discussed alpha, beta, gamma radiations, their properties, detection, uses and danger in the next lecture. We will move to half-life and nuclear energy. Want a cloud chamber visual demo? A sealed box with super saturated alcohol vapor. When a particle zips through, it ionizes the air, creating a foggy trail like a contrail from a plane. What it shows alpha leaves thick. Short tracks heavy and slow. Beam makes swiggly longer lines light and fast. Gamma, no tracks that interacts indirectly. Fun fact invented by CTR. Wilson in 1911. You can build a mini one at home with dry ice. Geiger Emler counter the clicker. A gas filled tip with a wire in the middle. Radiation ionizes the gas, creating a tiny electric spark you hear click for each hit. Why it works counts all types alpha. Beta, gamma, but you can add filters to block alphas or betas and isolate gamma. Every day you checking for radiation leaks at airports or in labs. Beep beep like a metal detector.